Hey guys, Gibbo here, and today I'm going to show you a feature that's just stumbled across my phone that I didn't know was actually a viable option on the iPhone. It's called the live text mode. It was talked about on Apple WWDC, is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called, yeah. I am an avid watcher of those, but I have missed the latest one for the new iOS 15 launch. But I didn't get to see this one, and I was taking photos the other day, and this little icon comes up on a photo, and I'm like, what is that? Click it mind exploded. So I'm going to just show you why my mind exploded. Let's jump in. So I've been taking photos with my phone for years and after the latest update um, of iOS 15, this little icon popped up every now and again on the screen. I don't know what it was until literally this morning. Sitting at my desk, I'm like, what is this thing that's popping up on my screen? So I'm like, let's investigate. Took a photo, I had my camera up. So right now <laughs> you can see Wafty behind the camera. And I had my camera up, and as you can see, on the bottom right of the screen here, there's a little uh, square with lines on it, and then across any writing on the screen, these brackets come up. So I'm like, what is this? So I click the screen, I click those squares. Next thing, it's taken a photo of the writing that's in the screen, or that's in the image, and I touched it, and I can select any of the text from a photo, okay? So I'm going to select this. This is a microphone box here. A boya, boya boy, boya microphone. Anyway, I took a photo of this and I can select the text from a photo. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to see if it copies that exact text. I'm going to open up a note, create a note, paste, boom. What is going on here? What is that? It's copying live text from photos. So then I thought, okay, cool. It's all very well, nice fonts are used, clear writing, let's see handwriting. Now we go to this image here. So I've got my notebook. I've basically written in the notebook, note yourself, take a photo of this and see what happens. There it is in black and white and sort of untidy writing. Let's actually give this a go. So hold it above, click those squares, bang. Alright, select the text. Now let's see. Note to self, take a photo. Okay, so it hasn't copied. Uh, obviously, my handwriting is a bit dodgy. But let's see how good this happens. So I copy my handwriting, go back to notes. Um, let's just paste it under the previous one, and I'm going to click paste. Net to self, tail photo of this and see what happens. It's not 100% not accurate, but that's still damn close considering that my handwriting is not 100% neat so okay the next thing is does it work on photos that have already been taken so let's go back on the phone let's see what happens so I'm on the screen you can see the writing there is pretty clear but there's no square there's no square to select text uh, let's see click anything Ooh, no ways so you don't even get that square let's see Go back to notes. So I selected Sunday. Did I? Paste. Sunday. Cheaper. So you don't even need to see those squares. If there's a photo that has got text in it like that, you literally copy the text with your fingers, copy, paste. Mind blown. Guys, if that doesn't make your day better in any way, the mere fact that you can copy text from photos from handwritten notes. I'm guessing you could be sitting in a lecture hall, take a photo of a screen, no note taken needed, take a photo, convert it to text, copy and paste it, copy and paste it on your phone straight to your Mac because there's that connectivity. What a win! That is amazing guys and that's what I had to show you today. I'll be back in a few with some more to tell you. <laughs>